Okay, so what's really cool about Premiere Pro is that once you import your footage, it just becomes that much more versatile. It's insane. So I'm just going to show you an example of that with uh, slow-mo footage, or uh, 60 frame per second footage, which you can interpret into 24 frames uh, footage. It's a fairly simple process to uh, make your 60 frame per second uh, video slow motion, or 30, frame, 30 frames per second, or 24 frames per second. It's a fairly simple process. So here I'm gonna go to my original footage right here which is 60 frames right here and then I'm going to right click on that I'm gonna to go to modify and then I'm going to go to interpret footage so what it means to interpret the footage is the computer will see the 60 frames as something else and you tell it what to see it as so you want to go to assume this frame rate you're gonna to want to click on that you want to delete one frame per second because that's ridiculously slow and go to tw either 24 or 30 frames per second, any desired frame per second that you want. The lower you go, the slower it will be. Also, I think the choppier it will be as well. If it's 60 frames per second, I don't recommend going below 24. Just That's just my opinion. The way I, the way I see it, I, I don't think it looks that great. Uh, so you want to go to 24 frames per second. I'm not going to do that because I already created it. Uh, and this is what it is. This is my 24 frames per second clip it recreates this into this which is exactly what you wanted as the slow motion clip right here that's slow yes so it is that simple and yeah, that's how you interpret the footage to be a different frame rate than the native frame rate that you you know shot it in so that's it very simple